Hi, and welcome to Prima Full Cup. I'm your host, Natalie Mullen, a certified wellness educator, speaker, facilitator, and teacher. Prima Full Cup is a mental wellness education podcast that helps women prioritize their wellness and put themselves first because you can't pour from an empty cup. I present unique wellness tips and strategies in ways that are relatable and practical and can be adopted for your lifestyle. Whether I'm speaking at an event, facilitating a workshop, or coaching clients, I'm passionate about helping women dream big, take action, and move the needle forward to achieve the life they want. Now, let's get started. Hey y'all, this is my TBD episode. What does that mean? Well, I realize I need to actually renumber my podcast episodes. And I know I said I wasn't going to do it, but because I seem to be regularly doing off-the-cuff episodes on Mondays, if people want to reference a specific off-the-cuff episode, it's going to get harder and harder to find them as I continue to produce more and more podcast episodes. So while I'm still relatively early on, it makes sense to just bite the bullet and change the numbers now, even though it means the social media posts are going to be messed up and yada, yada, yada. I just have to move forward. So I'm not actually sure what number this is going to be, but from the next episode onwards, everything will have a new number and I will get back to quoting the specific number I'm on. Anyways, that's a little bit of a ramble, but I am so excited. Today is a completely different type of episode again. So last week was a different kind of episode. I did snippets of a live coaching session I did with one of my clients who allowed me to share her recording. And that was just really good. And it wasn't the whole session, but hopefully you did get some ideas of how she was able to kind of talk through the process and get coached and kind of work through her own difficulties and then come up with a tangible action step that she could take. And this was only a 20 minute conversation I had with her. And it just goes to show sometimes you don't need to have one, two, three months of therapy or counseling or conversations. You can just spend a couple minutes talking to somebody and you can have an action step ready to move forward. Today is my first guest interview. I'm so excited. I'm actually interviewing my dear friend Solange and she is going to be talking to us all about home detoxing. So I'm not going to say anything more. I'm going to get right into the episode and look out for more guest episodes in the near future. So today I have with you my dear friend Solange, and I am so excited to bring her to you and for her to talk about home detoxing, but I'm going to let Solange introduce herself. Hello. Thank you guys for having me. Um, My name is Solange. Like Natalie said, uh, I'm the founder of Discover Bliss. I'm a certified holistic esthetician and health coach. And my passion is really just to spread the importance of living a healthy, holistic style from the inside out. Okay, what a great introduction. And you guys have to know that Solange is literally, when you think of someone who embodies wellness, Solange is the person that comes to mind. And she has such a kind aura, such a peaceful aura, such a joyful aura. It's just good to be in her presence. And I'm so lucky to have her as a friend and to get to talk to her in real life. And I hope that you guys will benefit from this conversation as well. Both of us are super passionate about wellness and just helping people live better lives and enjoy the time that we are here. And it's so exciting when you can have like-minded friends and just like-minded conversations with people who are doing similar things. All right, so Solange, we're going to get started. I want you to tell us about home detoxing. Um, I don't know anything about this topic, and I remember telling you, I don't want you to give me any clues or tips. I just want to find out everything, (laughs) right? Right away, fresh and live. Awesome. Thank you so much. So basically, this is a really fun topic for me. I absolutely love it. And today we're going to be chatting about how to detox your home, your office space, and basically every space in your room. First, we will start with the kitchen. <laughs> the kitchen's my favorite place, but because I get to eat there. So let's see. <laughs> Let's see why it's important though. Okay, so basically in our kitchen, um, there's a lot of things we can do to improve. We can swap, you know, our toxic nonstick cookware for more stainless steel, ceramic or cast iron. We can also switch our utensils to silicone or bamboo 
it's really important to ditch our plastic containers, especially if we are microwaving them, putting warm foods inside of them. Um, another thing we can do is instead of using plastic covers, uh, plastic saran wrap, we can switch to beeswax. Um, when it comes to cans in our home, it is really important to find cans that are BPA free or try to avoid um, eating out of cans too often. Another thing we can do that I personally love with my kids is using reusable snack bags. And one more thing is using also like, and for sustainable purposes as well, like reusing cloth napkins instead of like paper towels. So can you tell us a little bit That's more okay. about specifically non-stick? Okay, three things, non-stick, silicone utensils, and also plastic containers. Because I feel like those are three very common things that I see people using in their homes all the time. Yeah. So when it comes to non-stick pans, what happens is that when you're cooking with them, all the chemicals that have been used to produce this non-stick coating goes into our foods. Not only that, but it, when you are, you know, sometimes when you see, when you're overusing your non-stick pan and there's like cracks and scrapes and things like that, all of those toxic chemicals are actually going into our foods. So when it comes to nonstick, there are better options. And you know what? There's also cast iron. You just have to know how to use cast iron. And same with stainless steel. The pan needs to be like super hot. Make sure you put a drop of water. And it's if it sizzles, then your pan is ready to be used. When we use silicone utensils, um, it's important that they're not like heated. It's a safer option than plastic. And then the third one you mentioned was, oh, plastic containers. Yeah. Same thing. Our plastic containers have BPA. The problem is that we are using it and putting warm foods inside. That's the most important is that, okay, if you're going to use it, if you really have to use them, use them with cold foods, do not microwave them and do not heat them up because these chemicals are actually leaking into our foods. Another thing I wanted to share is eliminating vegetable oils. This is a really, really important one um, because, you know, canola oil, soybean, cottonseed, corn, all these oils cause inflammation in our body. So if you can switch to healthier cooking oils like coconut, olive, ghee, hemp, chia, walnut, avocado. So just, just know that omega-6 fats not only fuel your body's inflammation, but it also reduces the ability of anti-inflammatory omega-3 fats in your tissues, resulting in more inflammation. So we really need to make the switch to a better cooking oil. I personally love to use coconut. That We used a, a refined coconut, which means that the flavor of the coconut is not going into your food because not everybody wants coconut flavored food, right? So right, right. we use olive oil for our salads and we love to use coconut oil for our cooking. Okay, I'm on board with this. These are the two oils <laughs> I use, so good. <laughs> Perfect, awesome, awesome. And then when it comes to the spice rack, this is something that is overlooked usually, but there are some really great tips. Spices are very powerful. They have so many antiviral, antibacterial benefits, medicinal benefits, but what happens with conventional spices is that it's being irradiated, which means that it's being put into a big microwave to extend their shelf life. And unfortunately, this is what kills the medicinal benefits of our herbs. Now that summer is here, we can purchase organic spices uh, fresh, or you can grow them on your balcony or your backyard. That is a really great alternative. And, and purchasing organic spices in small quantities, because this preserves their freshness and their potency. So when you can, like I know sometimes, you know, buying a whole, like all your spices organic is not always, you know, easy on the pocket. Right. So what yeah. you could do is when one is done, uh, then mm -hmm. you make the switch. So you don't have to like go home and throw all your stuff out. Um, right. This is just to, to just be mindful of, you know, your next purchase. And you know, what's so funny. I'm glad you talked about the spices. I actually had a spices. I think it was the, um, you know, the chili flakes that you put on like pizza. Yeah. And so I remember I just grabbed them out the cupboard and I put them in my food and I didn't really taste any spice. I checked the back and it was like expired. And I just, I don't think I realized that spices ever expire in the first place. Exactly. So we're just not getting the medicinal benefits. And I think that, you know, if it's, if we, if we can get extra, you know, antibacterial, antiviral 
benefits, mm-hmm. why not? Why not, you know, add it, add it into our foods, right? And then another thing I wanted to mention is how important it is to filter our water because, you know, now we know, I, I can tell you for sure, there is chlorine in our water. There is heavy metals in our water, fluoride, antibiotics in our water, medications we have no idea about. Um, Mm -hmm. So this is why it's really important to have a filter at home. We personally at home use the Centevia uh, mineralized alkaline water system. And so this this type of filter um, gets rid of not only does it get rid of all these chemicals that I just mentioned, but it adds minerals into your water, which is amazing because nowadays we are quite depleted in our minerals, especially because our soils are so depleted. There's honestly different types of um, filtration systems for any type of budget. And I'm starting to see more and more people having water uh, filtration systems in their home. A lot of people even just like the taste of the water better. They don't wanna drink tap water, but they don't wanna do bottled water. So they get a water filter. And actually, that's a good place to start is even just starting with a water filter on your kitchen tap or, you know, those Brita water filters from back in the day that people used to put in their fridge and probably still do. That's an easy place to start. All right. Tell us what's next. The next thing I wanted to chat about is toxic cleaning supplies. It is important to look for products that disclose all ingredients when it comes to cleaning supplies. Choose products without dyes. Um, Choose products that contain natural essential oils. Even a really good option is to even make your own if you have the time for it. I personally don't make my own. I have before. I make my own like natural air fresheners, but When it comes to cleaning supplies, there is a lot of support online. There's some apps that you can choose that will help you choose this a safer, a safer option, basically. So there is EWG.org. They have like a list of cleaning products that you can choose from. And not only is it good for ourselves, but for our family and for our pets as well. So now our, you know, natural cleaning supplies, there are so many types of options out there. I absolutely love some brands like Aspen Clean, Attitude, Nature Clean. I love Dr. Bronner's. I've also used Seven Generation, as you can see here. So just keep it simple at home. Baking soda, you know, go back to basics. Baking soda cleans, deodorizes, polishes. I use it so much even to clean my drains. Um, and, and then I'll add like cleaning vinegar. Mm-hmm. Um, you can use arrowroot starch to deodorize carpets. So sometimes I'll apply baking soda or arrowroot starch on our carpets and then I'll vacuum it up. You can use lemon juice, vinegar, table salt, cast oil soap. So there's a lot of options out there. And honestly, it's just unnecessary to use all those toxic chemicals. I love the suggestion of just start with one thing. Because, you know, sometimes it can seem like overwhelming and you're like, yeah, you know, if you've been using a ton of commercialized products that might be toxic and don't have the best ingredients and it can be very stressful to have to replace everything and go buy all these things. But even if you start with, okay, one room. So as an example, I'm going to start with the bathroom and I'm going to start with the glass cleaner. And that's the one thing that I'm going to do. I'm going to see how it goes and you can decide. Okay, you're going to make the glass cleaner from scratch using such as cleaning vinegar, as you said. Yeah. Or if you want to buy a commercial a um, spray. product that yeah. is just toxic free, you can do that too. But at least you're just starting with like one area of the house and then yeah. you can make slow adjustments after that. Yeah, I always tell my clients, like I have been in the industry for a long time. My home is completely, I could say 99.9% toxin free, but it took me like two years, like this doesn't happen overnight. So, you know, as soon as your stuff starts to finish up, if that's what you want to do, you can start making the switch with one bottle at a time. If not, some people will throw out all their stuff and just make the switch overnight. And whatever right. is whatever you choose is okay. Um, and remember, like I said, if you're feeling a little bit overwhelmed, you can download apps like Think Dirty or EWG. And these apps are basically to educate consumers about the potential toxic ingredients that you're using. It's so great because it gives you ratings as well. So they'll tell you like, okay, 10 is like super toxic and one is like mm. a lot healthier. So um, that is a really great thing to have on your phone. I'm going to write that down right now. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Those are really good tips about 
cleaning supplies. What about the laundry room? Hey, it's Natalie. Pardon this brief interruption. Are you guilty of taking care of everyone but yourself? If so, let me tell you about me first. My one-to-one seven-step coaching program designed to help you build self-confidence, establish healthy boundaries, reframe limiting beliefs, implement self-care, and discover your biggest dreams. With me first, you'll gain the tools to make lasting changes in every area of your life, from careers to relationships to personal growth and more. It's time to start prioritizing yourself. I am so passionate about helping you take action to live out your biggest dreams and have a full cup. If you're interested in learning more, book a free info call using the link in the show notes. Join me first today and start taking the first step towards a happier, healthier you. Now, back to the episode. Okay, the laundry room. So when it comes to the laundry room, I recommend switching from regular bleach to oxygen bleach. It doesn't okay. have that scent. Um, it works just as efficient. Uh, and another thing is getting rid of artificially scented anything. But when it comes to the laundry room, I'm, t- I'm specifically talking about detergents and fabric softeners. You can purchase 100% wool dryer balls or unscented cloth dryer sheets. You could, if you want, add like essential oils if you want a little bit of a scent to them. Mm-hmm. But they okay. just work. They, they really help with the drying time. So okay. it helps the drying time, but also helps with like the static and the wrinkles. Okay, good to know. So what about the bathroom? Tell me a little bit more about how we can detox the bathroom. Yeah, so some tips I can give you is basically, uh, you know, the curtains that you use to prevent water from dripping out outside of, you know, depending yeah. on what type of shower you have, but those mm-hmm. PVC shower curtains, um, when you purchase them, I'm sure everybody notices the scent. And yes. so those are highly toxic for our environment, for our home. And so what I recommend is opting for a non-toxic one instead. So I've purchased ones before that are PEVA, that are organic cotton. You can get a canvas liner or ones that are made of hemp. Okay. So there's some alternatives for those for sure. Um, okay. I highly recommend switching to natural face and body care products and hand soaps as well. Um, So using just, like I said before, all natural cleaning products. And one extra thing I mentioned um, before is filtering your shower. So basically when you're showering, just like tap water, you would drink out of your, in your kitchen, there's still chlorine and chemicals coming out of our showers, just like anywhere in the home. So if you can install a shower or a bath, or you can get a bath filter for the kids. So what I usually recommend if you have a son or daughter that has eczema and they like to take baths, um, the bath filter is incredible to prevent all those chemicals from getting into the water and and aggravating the eczema. You can get uh, shower filters on Amazon and Santevia, the brand that I use to filter my water, they have a shower filter. When I moved, like first I was in Canada and when I moved to Antigua, the water was different and I could tell by how my hair felt. So I actually, I think I just, I think I bought it from Walmart or if not Walmart, then from Home Depot. Yeah. And I, um, I actually did notice a difference. And so I would set an alarm on my phone of like when to replace the filter. I think it's like at six months or whatever the instructions say. And I definitely awesome. will say I noticed a difference with my hair and my skin having a shower oh, filter. Yeah. And it was oh, really yeah. affordable too. And it took like three minutes to install. It was not hard that's, at all. That's amazing. It, it definitely makes a difference. I have a little quote here that says a 10 minute shower or a 30 minute bath is equivalent to drinking two liters of chlorinated water. And you know, our skin is our largest organ. So when our shower water is hot and warm, our pores kind of open up and they absorb all these chemicals. So yeah, having a shower filter is such a simple way to reduce the, you know, the amount of toxins that are entering our bodies. You know what? That's so true. We don't often think about the fact that our skin is an organ and can definitely be absorbing chemicals and toxins. So thank you for reminding us about that. Let's move on to the bedroom where we obviously do spend a lot of time. So when it comes to the bedroom, there are things we can do like swapping our mattresses, our sheets and our pillows. So if you can invest in a organic cotton or wool mattress that would be amazing 
Um, they are naturally flame resistant, pesticide free, chemical free. We do spend so much time in our beds, you know, like eight to nine hours, hopefully. When it comes to new mattresses, if you're using a conventional brand, there's a lot of off gassing from the glues, from all the the ingredients they use to to make it, right? There are a lot of different sheets that you can purchase like organic cotton and wool. And the good thing about organic cotton and wool, they are naturally resistant to mites and fungi and bacteria. I think it's so good to know just what different options are available. So what about the living room? When it comes to the living room, normally 90% of house dust tests positive for toxins. So it is important to dust regularly. You can use any type of cloth to just kind of with a little bit of water or cleaner to just wipe off surfaces. Another thing is that a really great tip is leaving your new furniture or carpet, leaving it outside for off gassing. So basically off gassing um, is a, it's a process where manufacturers kind of get these products give off these toxic fumes that can be really detrimental to our health, um, okay. not only to the people in your home, but the animals as well. So this off-gassing can affect us in different ways. And so when you purchase new furniture, you know that like new smell, like that new car smell or yes, the new yes. furniture smell. Okay. So that is actually off-gassing. So what we can do when it comes to our furniture, take them outside, let them be in the sun if you can, a few days, you know, it doesn't, it, as long as they're out there for a bit and then the smell kind of releases using natural fabric sprays or stain removers. I have this great, it's called Puracy. It's a stain remover, chemical free. Um, I have like a, a carpet washer and upholstery washer and you can use that. And it honestly is incredible. I absolutely love this brand called Puracy that helps with stains and, you know, I have kids, so spills on the couch or sometimes on the carpets and things like that. So that is a great, great product. All right. So what about, we've talked a lot about inside the house, but what about outside the house, like in our backyards, our front yards? What can we do there? Okay, so when it comes to some tips for outdoors, um, it's important to remove your shoes um, because this is, decreases the amount of pesticides and toxins that you track inside your home. A lot of people spray their grass with, you know, chemicals and weed killers and things like that. And these are basically pesticides and um, they, they've been honestly linked to so many health issues and it could be including eczema, hyperactivity, behavior problems, cancer, reproductive disorders, and um, just a lot of issues in our bodies. So if there is one tip I could give you is to just remove your shoes. Do not walk inside your home. Um, have your indoor shoes your out and your outdoor shoes. And then for people who like really want to grow a perfect grass, there's alternatives to Roundup, which is, you know, the pesticides that were sprayed on our lawns. Um, there's organic versions that, you know, are, are insect killers or weed and grass, like any type of weed killers and things like that. They're made from thyme, oregano, neem, rosemary, 100% natural. They work for both your lawn um, weeds, they're safe for pets, which is huge. You know, I, I remember when I had my dog, I would not, when there was a sign that the lawn is sprayed, I would not let my dog walk on it because then your dog's bringing in all these chemicals. Right? So we've talked a lot about the home. What about the home office? Because this is a reality for so many people in the post COVID world. There's actually a lot of things that we can do to detox our offices. So one of the things is having an air purifier. Um, salt lamps are very helpful. Um, EMFs are huge when it comes. So EMFs are electromagnetic frequencies. So basically our computer monitors, our cell phones, our wireless chargers, um, anything that is plugged in um, that connects to Wi-Fi is, you know, most of the time causing our headaches and migraines um, and our anxiety. So it is really important to um, purchase EMF, EMF devices that help protect us from the, these frequencies. Um, another thing you can do, you know, like in your office, like 
have a non-toxic soap or a hand sanitizer. Um, and then a diffuser, like I love in my office, I love having a diffuser that there's blends that you can have for stress or anxiety. And, and at the same time, essential oils are so therapeutic because they're antibacterial. Um, so that is a really great thing to have in your, in your office, whether it's at home or, you know, in your, in your office at work, even plants as well. I'd love our plants are air purifiers. So having a snake plant or something that really helps us not only visually, but it helps, you know, detoxing our environments as well. And then when it comes to, you know, your screen, it's important to have like a screen protector. It's important to wear blue light glasses. Uh, it's so important because, so now, you know, those orangey like sunglasses that, well, they're not sunglasses, but they're orange glasses. Those yeah. are basically useful to prevent you from like at nighttime, if you're working at night, hopefully not, mm -hmm. but if you do work mm -hmm. at night, it is important to wear these, these blue light glasses because it helps our bodies um, block out that, that light and um, affect our sleep. And then, and then we're going to chat about ditching the air fresheners. Honestly, one, if you leave this, you know, you know, this conversation and you're like, what is one thing I could do? I highly yeah. recommend ditching air fresheners. So do like a two week detox, get rid of everything, all your bath and body works things, all your, you know, the bath um, and body works. Yeah. <laughs> Look at all some people tuning off of this podcast. Just yeah, they're like, I know, no, right? no, I had to say that because they're like the number one, like I, they're so popular. There's always lineups at square one. And I just want to stop it. Yeah. Like, Please don't buy them. Please don't do it. They're highly toxic. Okay. So, is this okay? Wait, I need to clarify for the people and just okay. for myself too. Are you talking about just like the plug-in ones or are you talking about the like lotions and everything like as everything, well? like do not walk into that oh. store. <laughs> Oh, no. honestly sorry, honestly guys. and truthfully I'm sorry I'm so sorry but <laughs> honestly just try doing like a two-week detox you are going to notice difference a difference in your your you know headaches um it is just it is so important to talk to just toss them out like this is one thing that I could say throw them out like don't even waste your time oh don't finish it like I said before like finishing something and then switching right. no you are oh, not wow. allowed to finish them, get rid of them. <laughs> you know, when it comes to like, just not even like, you know, candles, plug-in sprays, air freshener, car air fresheners, scented trash bags, anything that has a smell to it. They are linked to asthma, hormone disruptions. They're linked to allergies. I cannot stress how important it is to get rid of fragrances in our home. And there's so many things that we can do, like, you know, it's, you know, diffusers with essential oils. Um, you can use reed diffusers that are natural. There's incense. When it comes to incense, I highly recommend airing out your home, having the windows and doors that are open because it's still smoke, right? So it's, yeah. It's, yeah. it's a better option, but, you know, if you can do essential oils, that's even better. Soy or coconut can candles. Um, just be careful because people will be like, oh, it's soy and coconut and it's so natural, but then they sneak in fragrances and that's not what we want in our candles. Mm. These wax are similar to our Himalayan salt lamps when it comes to releasing those negative ions, which bind and eliminate toxins. So um, there's natural odor, odor removing gels. There are natural fabric, you know, refreshers. There's simmering oranges and cinnamon on your stovetop there's a lot of amazing things we can do that are all that are just as incredible not sorry not there's just so much more incredible than using your you know your regular you know air wicks and all that stuff I will say I can understand for diffusers it's my sister who actually introduced me to using diffusers and I just love like the smell of lemongrass or lemon. And oh, what I yes. think is so cool is that the different essential oils and the different scents can impact your mood differently. And yeah, 100%. You know, for instance, if you use a, an air freshener, maybe you're just using like the same one throughout the day. Like, I don't know if you're changing it morning to night, but you know, you can have lemon and it just gives you a little bit of energy. It makes Uplifting. you bright, it makes you perky. If you have 
uh, maybe lavender when you're ready to go to sleep, you know, and so mm -hmm. then knowing that there are those beneficial properties for your body and even for your mental health and awareness too. I think yes. that's yes, yes. definitely worth investing. Like that is a very easy switch. Yeah. Easy, easy. And I'm saying oh, yeah. that as someone who doesn't, you know, always make the switches <laughs> just because <laughs> I like to do things, but yeah. you can easily throw out the air freshener today and you yep. can get a diffuser. They're not expensive and you can get to yep. essential oils, even from Walmart or the health food store, like wherever you want to yeah. start. Exactly. And, and it's already such a, a good improvement. So remember, it is the small things that we do every day that add up to a healthier home and planet. Focus on one area at a time. I don't want this conversation to make you feel overwhelmed. Um, you know, just focus on one area. And, it, you know, it is really the key to creating a toxin-free home that you love, that you feel confident raising your children in. You don't need to, you know, make changes overnight. Take it slow. But but, you know, take action one by one whenever you can. So I have Thanks. a couple of questions for you before we yes, wrap up. Yes, yes, yes. This has been so, so informative. And I want you to talk just for a second about why is home detoxing important for wellness? I think our home is truly our oasis. It is where we regenerate. And I think that when it comes to our health, maybe we're having health issues or inflammation in our body or our hormones are out of whack. It could be anything. Sometimes it's as simple as um, making these changes at home that will keep us moving forward. So it is truly, um, when it comes to our health, we have to look at every aspect. Um, it is not just, you know, what we're eating. It is not just what we're putting on our skin. It is our environment. Sometimes people are fighting and fighting to improve their health and their wellness. And it could be something that is making them sick at home, right? Yeah. So that's why I find you know, this topic about home detoxing so extremely important because we spend so much time at home, right? Sometimes when it comes to our health, there's some things that we can't control and there's a lot of things that we can control. It is scientifically proven that it, our home and our environment affects our mental health yes. 100%. So I believe that. And I think after, I think from since COVID, I think everybody has realized just how yes. much- their home environment affects them. And sometimes you just feel like you can't do it. And I think something so important about this home detoxing is it's not just about making a nice home or making a functional home, but it's about no. making a safer home, right? A yeah. home that is safe for you and for your family and for your loved ones. Tell the listeners, Solange, how can they get a hold of you if they want to work with you? What services do you offer? And just Oh, this is your time to promote yourself. <laughs> oh, you're so sweet. So my Instagram page is Discover Bliss. You can contact me through my email, Solange at discoverbliss.com. I have a website called shopdiscoverbliss.com. And like I said before, I'm a health coach. I can support you through a six-month program where we dive deeper, where we learn more about improving your health and wellness in different areas of your life. And I'm also a holistic esthetician. So I give organic facials. So if you're looking for, uh, you know, a self-care moment or, you know, just anything to improve your skin, I can definitely guide you. And if you have any questions, feel free to message me. And please reach out to Salon. She is just the epitome of wellness and health and just support and I think sometimes it just seems intimidating and you're just not sure where to start and I think I'm here <laughs> that you've heard from me just start somewhere just take one yes. small step because yes. you want we only have this one life and you want to have it to the fullest as much as you can so yes. get the support, get the knowledge, even if you just want to start by following her page. She has so many tips on there. There's just small <laughs> little things you can implement. And then you you stay connected, right? If you want to reach out to her, send her yeah. an email, go visit her website, get a facial. They're so, so good. <laughs> Thank you again, Solange. And Thank uh, I look you. forward to you again. Thank you so much.